day everyone! Welcome to my YouTube channel! And for today's video, pag-uusapan natin ang radii and chords. Ito ay grade 10 geometry na nakapaloob sa circle. Kung bago ka pa lamang sa aking channel, panoorin mo ang unang video at pangalawang video upang mas masundan mo ang tutorial natin for today. Ilalagay ko ang link sa my description. Objective. Ano nga ba ang mga matututuhan natin kapag katapos ng video ito? Determine the relationships that exist among chords, radii, diameter, and arcs. Yung apat na nabanggit dito ay na-discuss na yan. Na-discuss ko na nung first video pero dito mas bubusisiin pa natin. Radius or radii. Radius kapag isa lang, radii kapag marami. Is a segment whose end points are the center of the circle and a point on the circle. So, sa mga nauna kong video, nasabi ko nga na ang radius ay ito. Center, tapos isang point sa circle. Yung nabuo nilang line, line segment, yan ay tinatawag na radius. Pwede rin ito, D tapos C yan yung center tas isang point sa circle tapos center ulit isang point sa circle ayan chords is a straight line segment whose end points both lie on the circle ito naman ay part ng circle na ito ay line nga na nabubuo sa circle sa point to point ganyan Ayan, point to point. Mga straight line yan. Dito, pwede itong example natin point A, tas itong point D. Ayan, isa siyang chord. Pwede rin itong point A at point B, kasi point to point sila. Pero itong C tapos D, hindi sila pwede yung tawagin chords. Kasi, Itong point C ay center. Dapat maging ano siya. Point sa circle. Pwedeng ganyan. Pero pag nandyan lang, hindi siya consider na chord. Diameter. Longest chord that passes through the center. Ituan nga natin na ang chord ay point to point. Ito ay point to point din. Ayan. A, B, point to point, pero ayan, kung mapapansin nyo, tinamaan nila yung ito, yung point C yung center arc, is a portion of a circle that consists of two end points and all the points on the circle between these two end points so, ganito yan bawa itong point B pag tayo kulay bawa itong point B, ayan, point sa circle tas is itong point D yung mabubuo nilang segment dyan itong pa curve na to, ayan yung arc ayan yung arc na tinatawag theorems about radii and chord in a circle or in congruent circles two minor arcs are congruent if and only if their corresponding chords are equal in the figure, if chord DA is congruent to chord BE, ito yon. chord DA, as yung chord BE, ito. Kung congruent daw sila, magiging congruent na rin ang measure of angle arc DB, tas itong arc EA. Kasi kung papansin ninyo, halimbawa kung hindi sila congruent, no, ito, tapos pag ganyan, mas malaki ito. E dito, may kita nyo na congruent din. Pagpantay yung chords, pantay rin yung sukat ng arc. Some examples. 
If chord DA is equal to 10 cm, chord BE is equal to 10 cm, and measure of arc BD is equal to 30 degrees, find measure of arc EA. Solution. By this theorem, chord DA is congruent to chord BE. And at dahil doon, yung measure ng arc EA ay equal na rin sa measure ng arc BD na ang given ay 30 degrees. Bale, ang answer ay measure of Art EA is equal to 30 degrees. Number 2. If measure of Art BD is equal to 45 degrees, measure of Art EA is equal to 45 degrees, and chord DA is equal to 5 mm, find chord BE. Solution. By this theorem, itong theorem na binabanggit natin, measure of Art BD is congruent to measure of arc EA. At dahil doon, yung measure ng chord BE ay equal na rin sa chord DA na kung saan ang given ay 5 mm. Ito yung given. Oh. DA is equal to 5 mm. Eh, equal sila. Kaya, ang answer ay chord B is equal to 5 mm na rin. Pangalawang theorem. In a circle, if a radius is perpendicular to a chord, then it bisects the chord and its arc. In this figure, if radius EC is perpendicular to chord DA at point B, then it bisects the chord DA and arc DEA. Mali, ibig sabihin ng bisects, nahati niya sa dalawa. Ay nahati niya sa dalawang equal part. The two new segments in chords are DB and BA. Dito sa atin ay yung DA daw itong DA. Tong DA nahati siya naging DB as yung kabila BA. Equal sila. Tapos the two new segments in minor arc are arc DE and arc EA. Dito, ito yung buong arc DEA. Pero, nahati rin siya sa dalawang equal, equal part. Kaya, ito. Arc DE, tapos yung isa arc EA. Example, in circle C, chord DA is equal to 8 cm and 3 cm away from the center of the circle. Find the radius of the circle. Ito. Yung chord DA daw ay 8 cm. Tapos kung mapapansin nyo dito ay nahati na siya sa gitna. Bali magiging tag 4 cm na lang. Tag 4 cm. And 3 cm away. Ibig sabihin niyan, itong point B, itong point B na to, tapos ito yung point C, may 3 dyan, kasi 3 cm away daw. Yan. Tapos nawawala yung radius. Solution, since DA is perpendicular to CB, then by this theorem, line segment DB is equal to line segment BA is equal to 4 cm. Ay na nga yung nagawa natin kanina. Equal na sila. Equal yung DB. Equal yung BA at 4 cm. Nawawala yung radius. At ito yung radius na yun. Yung DC. Using the Pythagorean Theorem. Alam nyo ba yung Pythagorean Theorem? Nigurado naman, alam nyo yun. Ang Pythagorean Theorem ay C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. Na kung saan ang C ay yung hypotenuse. At sa atin dito, sa figure, ang hypotenuse ay itong DC. 
Kaya siya yung malalagay dito sa left side. Siya yung nasa C squared. Bale, ang, ang mangyayari ay dc squared is equal to db squared plus bc squared. Tapos, isab natin, magiging dc squared is equal to 4. Kasi nga, yung db ay 4. Itong db ay 4. Tapos, yung bc ay 3. So, now, that dc squared is equal to 16 plus 9. 16 plus 9 is equal to 25. dc squared is equal to 25. Tapos, square root nyo both side. At ang makuha natin ay dc is equal to 5. Therefore, the answer, the radius is 5 centimeter. Hindi 5 centimeter ito. Pangalawang example, in circle C, chord DA is 3 cm away. Itong DA ay 3 cm away. Pwede 3 na naman dito. From the center of the circle. And the radius is 5 cm. 5 cm daw itong DC. Find the measure of the chord DA. Solution. Since line segment the chord DA is perpendicular to line segment CB then by this theorem line segment DB line segment DB to yung DB and DB tapos ito yung DA is unknown Kaya, maglagay tayo ng unknown dito. Ayan, unknown. Unknown. Using the Pythagorean theorem, gagamitin uli natin yung C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. Tapos, ang, DC, ang C natin ay ito. Itong 5. Ito yung pinakamahaba. Ito yung C squared. Kaya magiging dc squared is equal to db squared plus bc squared. Sunod, substitute 5 squared is equal to db squared plus 3 squared. Unknown nga yung db natin, di ba? Tapos, sunod, ilipat yung 3 squared sa kabila, magiging negative 3 squared. Kaya 5 squared minus 3 squared is equal to db squared. Tapos sa lahat ay db squared is equal to 25 minus 9. Kasi 25 minus 9 ay magiging, magiging 16. Tapos, square root nyo both side. Ang matitira ay db is equal to 4. The answer, db is equal to 4 cm. Ayan, nakuha na natin yung db. Naging 4 cm daw. 4 cm and BA is also 4 cm kasi nga equal sila therefore chord DA is equal to 8 cm ayan ipagpa plus lang natin sila para makuha na natin yung measure ng kabuuan nitong D at nasagot na natin ang tanong ang tanong na Find the measure of chord DA. At ayun ay 8 seconds. Thank you for watching. Sana yung may natutuhan kayo. Please like, share, and subscribe for more math video tutorials. At huwag nyo na rin kalimutang i-click ang bell button para lagi kayong updated sa mga bagong upload ko. Hanggang dito na lang ulit. Salamat.